many great things in South Africa are derailed by corruption and scandals. The promise of the nation is squandered in government and SOEs and even in private institutions. Can corporate governance come to the rescue? My name is Dr. Johnny Yamunda and I want to briefly talk about corporate governance. Before we talk about what corporate governance is, let's just reflect on a few scandals you might be aware of. For example, the acquisition of COVID PPE. My friend, I'm sure that one you are aware of. But what you might not be aware of is the scandal at Stenhoff where the company inflated its profit by 250 billion rands. But what is said in the situation is they kept getting clean audits from a very reputable organization, PwC. A scandal which is close, which is said close to my heart in my hometown is happened at Tonga Tulets, where in 2018 they inflated their financial results by between 3.5 and 4.5 billion. Central to all these scandals is greed and poor corporate governance. Now your question might be, so what is corporate governance? Corporate governance is how a company is managed to the best interest of stakeholders. When we talk about stakeholders, we are referring to, yes, employees, the government, managers, shareholders, but not only those people. We are also referring to the community in which the organization operates. We are saying, is the company socially responsible? Does it act in a manner that benefits society? That is corporate, corporate governance. Let's talk about the advantages of corporate governance. We are saying it enhances disclosures. To say it forces organizations to disclose important information. For instance, it forces organizations to disclose remuneration of CEOs. You might be aware, my friend, of what happened recently where a CEO was paying himself 300 million every year, but he was refusing to increase his miners' salaries by less than a thousand rands. It became like a shutdown for three months for 900 rands, but he was paying himself 3 billion rands. Corporate governance also enforces independence of directors. We are saying a company needs independent people to look at how it's operating. It is that independence helps to safeguard the interests of society. It also helps with ethical leadership. Corporate governance says how are we solving problems? Are we solving problems in a way which is fair to everybody. So that's what comes with corporate governance. And we also say, is it helping an organization to be or a corporate citizen? Does the organization meet its legal, ethical, and economic standards? I have spoken about the advantages of corporate governance. But a word which I want to, a reflection which I want to leave with you, my friend, is do you think corporate governance is effective in South Africa? What are the main causes of lapses in corporate governance in South Africa? Thank you for listening to this brief conversation about corporate governance. Goodbye.